The disunity of the regular order of Freemasons is not entirely a Bulgarian trait. We have also contributed to this. In September of 2000, the term of office begins for the Grand Master, Brother Ivan Stavrev, and the Supreme Council of Officers of the Grand Lodge of Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria. Preparation begins for a general election assembly of the Grand Lodge. The first regular election session already witnesses moments, typical of the profane world, but having nothing in common with the high moral standards of which the Masonic fraternity has striven for so many centuries. During this period, September through November of 2000, a small group of followers gathers around Brother Borislav Sarandev, the worshipful master, with eight months of service. They want him to elect a grandmaster at any price. Contrary to the customs and principles of Freemasons, this group of brothers visits a number of constituent lodges and grossly interferes with their work, pushing them to support the nomination of Brother Borislav Sarandev. Some cases achieve paradox dimensions. In some lodges, such as the Danube Star Lodge of the Rusay Valley, almost two-thirds of the masters are removed because they do not approve of the actions and procedures of lodge management. For gross violation of Masonic principles in the Danube Star Lodge, the Grand Master, Brother Ivan Stavrev, in compliance with his rights granted to him by the Constitution, revokes this lodge of its right to vote at the General Assembly. In October of 2000, the Grand Lodge of Ancient and Free Accepted Masons of Bulgaria lists 12 constituent lodges, Zarya, Zora, Serdika, Black Sea Friends, Svetlina or Light, Madara, Sea Star, Asens Latarov, Mizia, the Danube Star, the Star of Sofia, and Tanakra. Eleven of these have voting rights. In preparation for the first regular election assembly, the constituent lodges carry out preliminary elections and voting within the lodges to define their nominees. By these nominations, as we all know, the brothers of the constituent lodges vote for the elections of a Grand Master, Grand Officers, Chairman, and members of committees of the Grand Lodge. The results of the voting for nominations in the constituent lodges define how its worshipful master shall vote. The representative of this lodge, typically the worshipful master, shall not and does not have the right to replace, amend, or change his or authorization. No right at all. Before the beginning of the regular General Assembly, the nominations of 10 of the 11 constituent lodges, having the right to vote with a duly granted authorization, have been submitted at the Grand Lodge Administrative Office. The nominations for Grand Worshipful Master of the Grand Lodge are as follows. In favor of Brother Ivan Stavrev, eight constituent lodges. Brother Borislav Sarandev, two constituent lodges. The latter has been a master for only one year and ten months, and a worshipful master for only eight months. The most controversial General Assembly in the history of Bulgarian Freemasonry begins. The voting is compromised. The worshipful masters replace their vote officially delegated by their master's brothers of the lodge, who elected them as their representatives and gave them an authorization of one single way to vote. Eight in favor of Ivan Stavrev, two in favor of Borislav Sarandev. For example, the General Assembly of the Serdika Lodge passed a decision with 26 votes for and zero votes against their Worshipful Master to vote for Brother Ivan Stavrev as Grand Worshipful Master of the Grand Lodge of Ancient and Free Accepted Masons of Bulgaria. For Brother Ivan Stavrev, 26 white balls. The choice is illuminated. Bechana Prani Predveritone. 
there have been some preliminary nominations. I attended some of the sessions of the lodges. For instance, in the Serdika Lodge, 26 masters voted for me then, and there was not a single vote against. And then, all of a sudden, it is vice versa at the assembly. These things are known by the worshipful master himself. He said then that this was his choice. Against all Masonic norms and rules, the worshipful master brother, Lachazar, changes the will of his brother masters and votes for Sarandev, making his own choice. This is also the case with the worshipful master of the Zora Lodge, brother Ivan Nachev, who also betrayed his brothers and replaced their will to vote for brother Borislav Sarandev as the grand worshipful master. This is the case with brother Mikhail Mihov of the Sea Star Lodge as well. Why? What can make a worshipful master so grossly betray the will of his brothers, for whom he is an icon, a standard of Masonic behavior, honesty, adherence to its principles, and a standard for loyalty for all brothers? Is this a betrayal, or is there no such word in the Bulgarian language? We all know the oath administered at worshipful master's inauguration. I hereby solemnly promise to be true to the Masonic word. What made them become traitors? After this unique violation and compromising the secret of the votes, some of the brothers went as far as showing their votes to others. Brother Borislav Sarandev is chosen with six to five votes in the most disgraceful and depraved General Assembly in the history of Bulgarian Freemasonry. I announced an actual result, because a result is a result. As it was at the elections, 11 votes lodged, it was six to five in favor of Sarandev. It is also interesting that being a nominee, Sarandev also took part in the voting and voted in favor of, of course, himself. We shall not discuss here that there were some brothers wearing weapons in the hall and that there was consulting outside the temple before each voting. After the election results are announced, some of the constituent lodges find out what actually has happened. They find out that their worshipful masters have changed the will of the members and on their sole discretion, the election vote of the masters of the lodges and supported candidates, they have not been authorized to support by their lodges' general assemblies. It has also been established that in some of the lodges, the legal procedure for the nomination of candidates for the Grand Lodge offices has not been observed. The worshipful masters have determined the nominations at their own discretion and presented them to be the nominations of their lodges. As a result of the numerous gross violations and compromising actions in the elections, 14 appeals from constituent lodges and individual brothers are submitted to the fraternal Masonic court within the legal term allowed for claims. No revenge is administered on these lightful chambers, and if a man has fallen, love brings him back to duty. The Fraternal Masonic Court, chaired by Lyubo Kotsev, considers the case over many sessions and rulings. A huge amount of work is done. Many brothers are examined and heard. A court body, chaired by Brother Margarit Ganev, announces it a unanimous decision that the elections have been compromised. Many appeals have been lodged at the Supreme City Court within the legal term, and it announced its resolution. So, the elections have been compromised under different paragraphs, which can be best seen in the decisions of the Supreme City Court themselves. Let's look it up in the Constitution. What does it say about the Fraternal Masonic Court? 
Article 59. The Grand Fraternal Court is empowered as follows. First, to resolve any disputes concerning organizational issues within the order. Subsection D. Resolve contestations against elections carried out in the Grand Lodge. Subsection E. Appeals against any decisions of the General Assembly of the Grand Lodge. Third, the decisions of the Grand Fraternal Court are final and not subject to appeal or reconsideration. This is Article 59 of the Constitution of the Sovereign Grand Lodge of Bulgaria, and all its members have sworn to it. The Oath. It is all about the Oath. An oath which makes you a participant in the Cosmic Wedding. To clear any speculations on this matter, I suggest that we concentrate on two indisputable facts. It is explicitly written in the Constitution of the Sovereign Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria. The decisions of the Grand Fraternal Court are final and not subject to appeal or reconsideration. Second, the Fraternal Masonic Court sits in sessions and makes an explicit and definite resolution that the elections are illegal. I must agree with the decisions of the Supreme Masonic Court. There is no Mason who will not agree in compliance with our Constitution. At this moment, the facts make it explicitly clear that Borislav Sarandev has never, and by no means, been elected as Grand Worshipful Master of the Grand Lodge of Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria. The Truth Borislav Sarandev has never and by no means been officially elected Grand Worshipful Master of Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria. This person does not show any consideration of the basic law of the Sovereign Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria with his rude and arrogant violation. He does not comply with the decision of the city court, the decisions of which are absolutely compulsory for all the brothers. He does not take part in any new elections, as it is provisioned by the rules, but declares himself to be the Grand Worshipful Master and starts acting as such from December of 2000. He does not take into consideration that the new Grand Master is normally inaugurated on Midsummer's Day. He does not participate in the ceremony of passing the chain, the hammer, from the past Grand Master to the new Grand Master. He doesn't. He doesn't. Borislav Sarandev proclaimed himself to be the Grand Worshipful Master and starts acting as such from December of 2000. The Constitution Effective at the Time Article 26, Item 1. The newly elected Grand Officers are inaugurated after the end of the Masonic year. Until the inauguration of the newly elected Grand Officers, the Grand Lodge is managed by the Council of Grand Officers in office. As we all know, the Masonic year ends on Midsummer's Day. Even if the Fraternal Masonic Court has not announced a resolution, Sarandev has to wait until Midsummer but he announces himself six months earlier. Some of the brothers around Sarandev leave his small group, of which there were only about 50 brothers left. Further violating the basic law, on the 31st of December of 2000, the self-proclaimed Grand Worshipful Master, Borislav Sarandev, makes a proposal to the Grand Officers to expel five constituent lodges of all eleven. The perversion of this absurdity is that among these lodges is the Zarya, one which has accepted him. These are, for the most part, the lodges which voted in favor of Brother Ivan Stavrev, and not for Sarandev. Their worshipful masters have not replaced their authorization, given by their brothers of the lodges, which have sent them to the unfortunate General Assembly. His motivation to expel these lodges is the strong desire to build a united and consolidated Freemasonry order in our country. Borislav Sarandev, with about 40 to 50 brothers supporting him, expels more than 300 brothers. Without waiting to receive an answer to his request from the Grand Officers, without having the opinion of the Grand Legal Committee, 
without listening to the worshipful masters of the lodges offered for expulsion, without having the majority of two-thirds of the lodges needed to pass such a decision, without summoning a general assembly, without. With 40 to 50 brothers, he expels almost 300 in the name of the strong decision to build a united and consolidated Freemasonry order in our native country. The uniqueness of this absurdity is that he does not expel just brothers, but whole lodges of brothers, fellow craftsmen and apprentices, who are unaware that they have done anything for heavy violations of Masonic order, which will lead to a division in the global Freemason community. Based on our constitution, after the Masonic court decision, I set the date for a new General Assembly, which was held on the 22nd of March, 2001. This session is attended by Borislav Sarandev and his group. It is with this group, pretending to be the only Grand Master, in spite of the sovereignty of the Orient, Bulgaria, instead of observing the basic law, the Constitution, Sarandev addresses the Grand Master of the United Grand Lodges of Germany, Brother Koska, and, and aided by the latter, contrary to any standards and rules, establish a second Grand Lodge. This is a gross and unprecedented infringement on the sovereignty of the Orient Bulgaria, in which a recognized and legal Grand Lodge of ancient free and accepted Masons of Bulgaria regularly operates. This obeys only its constitution and the international Freemasonry charters. The second Grand Lodge is established by a small group of Sarandev supporters in the irregular Grand Lodge of Bulgaria, led by the successor of Georgi Krumov, Janko Bonev. This happens in spite of the fact that the United Grand Lodges of Germany several times declare that the paramasonic organization of Janko Bonev is an irregular one. In an interview for the Bulgarian press, Brother Reiner Schicker, Master of the United Grand Lodges of Germany, says, I would like to emphasize that there is one irregular lodge in Bulgaria, which calls itself the Grand Lodge of Bulgaria. It consists of about 50 members. I have information that its members are actively meddling in some political and business relations, which are not in compliance with regular Freemasonry. That is why we do not maintain any contacts with this Masonic Lodge and the newly created Grand Lodge of the ancient free and accepted Masons of Bulgaria has no relation to it. In spite of this, Brother Kostka, who has taken side in the conflict, signs as guarantee an agreement of unification of Borislav Sarandev's and Janko Bonev's groups. Later, after meeting a number of competent German Masons, the assumption that the position of Grand Master Brother Kostka is a result of his personal opinion was confirmed. The World Masonry receives the false information that there has been a ritual of passing the hammer from the Grand Master Brother Ivan Stavrev to Brother Sarandev, also from the representative of the United Grand Lodges of Germany, Michael Kuncevich. Actually, such a ceremony never happened. But the inauguration of every Grand Master always takes place at a ceremony with a related ritual of passing the attributes. Another false allegation is that the General Assembly has been carried out before the eyes of foreign guests. There was not a single foreign guest or observer present at the session. They attended a dinner meeting at the Hotel Rodina the following day. The Extraordinary Assembly of the Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria on the 22nd of March 2001 is held in strict compliance with the constitution of the Grand Lodge and Brother Petar Gornovsky is elected a Grand Master. At this assembly, Petar Gornovsky is elected a Grand Master in competition with Brother Ruman Ralchev. And, after that, following the statute, I pass the chain and the hammer at Midsummer Day on the 22nd of June 2001, and thus he was inaugurated. 
Today, at a secret ritual held in the Masonic Temple in Gornabanya, the newly elected Grand Master of the Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria, Petar Gornovsky, shall be inaugurated. The businessman, Borislav Sarandev, was elected to be the commander of the Bulgarian Brothers. Later, it was established that the vote of three of the twelve lodges in the country has been falsified. In spite of this, Sarandev soon began to present himself as a Grand Master long before before his official inauguration. Only 30 Bulgarian Masons supported Sarandev. Masonry cannot be a tool in grinding one's own axe. All of these violations made it necessary to repeat the procedure of the election of a new Grand Master. He will be officially inaugurated on Midsummer's Day, and by then, he will be represented by the former Grand Master, Ivan Stavrev, after the secession of the Grand Master Borislav Sarandev, who was elected at the end of November last year, together with about 50 Masons, there are approximately 400 brothers left in the Grand Lodge. The new elections for Grand Master were needed due to the fact that the nomination of Sarandev, who has a minimum length of service as a Mason, was declared illegal by the Supreme Court of the Masons at a session held at the end of January of this year. Sarandev himself has in turn made several violations of procedures and had to vacate the office. This was what caused his secession. However, However, this is not fatal, because the Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons has received the recognition of 84 international Masonic lodges. It has its Supreme Council, and its organizations are strongly connected. It is interesting to see what happens with the decisions of the Sofia City Court. I know, not just a few, but most people would say that it is a profane court and that it does not concern itself with the norms and rules of Masonry. It is not so. And do you know why it isn't so? Because it isn't. We look only at the basic law of Masonry in any sovereign orient, Bulgaria being one of them. The constitution of the Grand Lodge, in this case, the Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria of 1997. Article 1. The Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria is registered as a legal association with non-business goals with address of registration in Sofia. This requirement has been provided at the request of the German brothers. Mundane law. Yes but having it as an obligatory condition within the constitution of the Grand Lodge, it becomes part of the rules. Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons. Let us see how the court registration has changed over the years. Registration made obligatory for everyone by virtue of the constitution, and which defined the legal successor by virtue of the mundane law, and, as it has already been made clear, by virtue of the rules as well. Grand Masters of the Grand Lodge and the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria. From the introduction of the light on September the 20th, 1997 until today. The Most Worshipful Brother Ivan Stavrev. From September the 20th, 1997 until December the 5th, 2001. Most Worshipful Brother Petar Gornovsky. From December the 5th, 2001 till March the 21st, 2003. Most Worshipful Brother Ruman Ralchev from March the 21st, 2003, until March the 26th, 2005. Most Worshipful Brother Nikola Alexandrov, from March the 26th, 2005, till the present. The original Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria, installed by Decree 6 in 1997 of the United Grand Lodges of Germany by Grand Master Brother Reiner Schicke, never stopped working in full harmony with all written and unwritten norms and rules of masonry. By virtue of the decision on the 20th of July, 2001, an association named the Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria is established at the Sofia City Court in the name of three citizens. By no means can this association be a successor of the original Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria of 1997. And do you know why? because it's impossible. At this moment, there are two Grand Lodges in the Valley of the Orient, Bulgaria. 
the original Grand Lodge of the ancient free and accepted Masons of Bulgaria, legally established by virtue of Decree 6 of 1997 by the United Grand Lodges of Germany and the organization of 2001. United Grand Lodge of Bulgaria created with forgery and fraud. By the end of May 2006, a great number of official and non-official meetings have been held between the two lodges, with the purpose of their consolidation. These meetings were initiated mostly by the Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria. The following positions have been specified during these negotiations. The United Grand Lodge of Bulgaria announced its demands, which do not differ from those dated other than 2003. All these negotiations demonstrated the basic differences in principles between the original Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria and the organization established in 2001, the United Grand Lodge of Bulgaria. First, the United Grand Lodge of Bulgaria wants the Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria to prepare and submit lists of its members. The constituent lodges of the United Grand Lodge of Bulgaria will approve which brothers shall be accepted and which one not accepted. On this issue, the Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria considers such a position highly subjective and unreliable. It creates an opportunity to divide the brothers into first and second categories and selective acceptance of certain brothers only. This approach lacks any Masonic logic. Thus, a certain number of our brothers will be left outside the Masonic lodges. This will lead to the establishment of any number of different Grand Lodges with all of the negative consequences. Second, the United Grand Lodge of Bulgaria wants the brothers of the Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria to be denied the degrees achieved by them and be admitted again as seekers. On this issue, the Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria believes that the two Grand Lodges must follow the decision of the Commission of Information for Recognition from the City of Nashville in 2006. It explicitly states that both Grand Lodges use the same ritual and generally practice the same masonry. This excludes the opportunity to any recognition of the existing degrees and new acceptance. The request of the organization established in 2001 is not grounded and lacks any Masonic logic. As a matter of principle, the United Grand Lodge of Bulgaria demands the self-dissolution of the Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria and then a new acceptance of its members, which is in all practicality ungrounded and falsely utopian. Third, the United Grand Lodge of Bulgaria wants every member of the Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria to file a declaration that he or gave his or her right to be a member of the Supreme Council of the 33rd Degree of the Ancient and Accepted Scottish Rite. You will also have to write that this Supreme Council is irregularly created from the Masonic point of view and that its creation in January 2001 has been a serious mistake. The Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria considers the Supreme Council of the 33rd Degree of the Ancient and Accepted Scottish Rite, created in January 2001 by the Southern Jurisdiction of the USA and the Orient in NATO, to be regular and absolutely legal, in the same way as in 1997 the United Grand Lodges of Germany rebuilt the Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria, which existed existed before 1940. So in 2001, the Supreme Council of the 33rd Degree of the Southern Jurisdiction of the United States restored the Supreme Council of the 33rd Degree of the Ancient and Accepted Scottish Rite, existing until this same 1940 and created by this same jurisdiction on the 17th of December, 1936. The Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria believes that the restoration of the Sovereign Supreme Council of the 33rd Degree of the Ancient and accepted Scottish right in Bulgaria is not a mistake, but a normal consequence of the democratic processes in Bulgaria, interrupted in 1940 by totalitarian regimes. 
The Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria does not accept the demand of the United Grand Lodge of Bulgaria for signing a declaration by its members waiving their rights to be a member of the Sovereign Supreme Council of the 33rd Degree of the Ancient and Accepted Scottish Rite. This demand is not grounded and lacks any Masonic logic. The Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria considers this request to be an unacceptable condition. Thus we have a double standard approach. On the one hand there is the request of some unification. On the other hand it works for and is another attempt at breaking the Bulgarian masonry. Why all this madness? It's interesting to see the position and the report of the visit of one of the most respected Masons in the world, Brother Jack Paul, a 33rd degree, to Bulgaria. In 2001, the Supreme Council of the 33rd degree of the ancient and accepted Scottish Rite in Bulgaria is installed by a charter issued by the southern jurisdiction of the ancient and accepted Scottish Rite in the United States of America. This seems to have provoked an immediate and persistent reaction among some members of the symbolic masonry in Bulgaria, the result of which is expressed three months later, in April of 2001 by the installment of a second Grand Lodge, bearing the same name as the original one, by the Grand Master, at the time, of the United Grand Lodges of Germany, the most worshipful brother, Alfred Kostka. Since then, there has been the inevitable conclusion about who is who, I will call the second Grand Lodge the 2001 organization. In fact, it is interesting to see whether the true reason for the disunity is the Supreme Council legally installed by the Southern Jurisdiction of the United States and the High Degree Scottish Ritual. What is it really all about? Taking into consideration the fact that the decision on building high degrees according to the ancient and accepted Scottish Rite is taken at a session of worshipful masters of the Grand Lodge of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria one year before the splitting up and Brother Sarandev has voted in favor in his capacity as a worshipful master. This is not an old wives tale, but masonry facts, facts that are indisputable, reliable and unconditional. Whatever your Masonic age may be, you will reach one single and indisputable conclusion, and that is that the Bulgarian Brotherhood has been thrown by a lie into an endless story of disunity and hatred. Will there be enough strength and wisdom to avoid separation and controversy once and for all? I believe there is enough evidence that the Masonic world must stop all decisions made up to this moment, must stop and reconsider its position concerning Freemasonry in Bulgaria. Basic Law of the Movement of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of Bulgaria Preamble the movement of the ancient free and accepted masons of Bulgaria is a community of men of good reputation, gathered with no regard to their religious and political beliefs, race, citizenship or social status, and united in brotherhoods. Masonic lodges, striving towards human perfection through brotherly relationships in compliance with the ancient duties, customs, traditions, symbols and rituals of the world of masonry. Keeping the dignity of the individual man, they defend the full development of personality and brotherhood, tolerance and mutual aid, in the name of the great architect of the universe. I believe that there is enough evidence that the Masonic world must stop all decisions taken up to this moment, must stop and reconsider its position concerning the Freemasonry of Bulgaria. We believe it is time that the world reconsider its attitude to the symbolic masonry in the Orient Bulgaria. The truth to be revealed about the forgery and crime done in the interval between 2000 and 2001, thus arriving to the one truth. And this is that there is only one original Grand Lodge of ancient free and accepted Masons of Bulgaria in this country.
една единствена оригинална велика ложа на старите свободни и прияти зидари на България. More than 2,000 brothers of the two Grand Lodges are not guilty for the madness that has taken place. But from this point onward, everyone must read again the oath he has taken, after the blindfold has been lifted from his eyes. We all are, and will be, personally responsible if we use any excuses to avoid working wholeheartedly for the unification of the Bulgarian masonry. We are personally accountable to ourselves and to those who come after us to Bulgaria.